So hello to everyone today. It's so good to have you here. I just want to remind everyone that the Air Cosmetic Surgery Consultant is a free coordination service into the Dominican Republic. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Spain. How's everyone doing today? I see a lot of good eye names going on. I wonder why. <laughs> I want to remind everyone guys, um, if you are planning to have surgery um, for now, keep in mind that you must bring with you your COVID um, result to, into the airport. This interview will be in English um, as well. Eh, gracias a los que se conectaron con y se están conectando hoy en español. Quiero recordarles que hoy la entrevista va a ser en inglés, no va a ser en español. Y tenemos una muñeca de Durán eh, que, nos va, que se va a conectar a, a decirnos su experiencia de hoy. Um, I have a few people that are saying they have a question. First, let me know if the sound is okay. If, you, if it's okay, give the thumbs up so I can know. Someone give the thumbs up. I see a wave. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, welcome. Thumbs up, Christy. Thank you so much. Durango from Spain, thank you. So I know how to go. If you have a question with regards to going into the DR right now, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer that for you before we move forward with our life of today. I see a bunch of thumbs up now. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Someone mentioned I had a question. What was the question? You can actually bring it in right now. Let me see if you ask anything, let's see. Forever range 21. Okay. So let's just get started. Uh, we have um, Amber, her name is Amber. She actually has started with Dr. Duran. And we are going to be interviewing her today. Let's see what she has to bring to the table. And let us know. I see a question that says, who is the best doctor? There's no such thing as the best doctor, um, in my opinion. There are outstanding doctors in the Dominican Republic, and really it's a matter of you selecting the one that fulfills the need the best, that makes you feel comfortable, that helps you, and that you feel comfortable because it matters. It's your life that you're going to put on the table, so you have to make sure that you feel good when you go with. Um, I have a question that says, the COVID test, how many days it should be there prior to surgery? The best of the doctor, some doctors do 43 days right now, I even have a, um, a girl that, that lasted six, seven days because the first results were negative and then they were positive. So it really depends on how many six we do those exams back. Um, I see my sisters here, Dina. Thank you for joining us. Um, I am going to be connected and I will be answering some questions at the end. Um, where? Let's see. Let's disconnect it. How's that now? No static noise anymore? It's gone? I think it's good now. I just disconnected the... the. <laughs> All right, so let's look for Amber. Let's see if she's here so we can get started. And she is here. Better. Good. Thank you, Gina. Thank you for joining me, sister. Hi. Hi, Hi Amber. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you here. Good to see you too. Well, um, Amber, so I see a lot of girls that are connecting and I see their names is Duran, Duran, Duran. And I was like, I wonder why so many <laughs> Duran girls today here trying to, to, to listen to your story behind it. <laughs> yeah, Duran's an amazing doctor. I'm really happy that I went with her. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Let's, let, let, tell me about yourself. Tell me about your experience. Where are you from? Where do you live? Um, let me take the comments out because if not, we're never going to be able to talk for a few minutes. And then I okay. promise to bring it back on. Um, tell me about you. Where do you, where you come from? I know you flew all the way to the Dominican Republic from where? Okay. So I'm from Windsor, Ontario, which is in Canada. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I basically, I had two kids. Um, I was really insecure. I, I knew for a long time that I wanted to get work done. 
Um, so I ended up losing like 30 pounds prior. Wow. To, yeah, prior to deciding, but I still wasn't really like confident with my body. So that's when I decided that I wanted to get work done. So hold on. So you got two kids through your pregnancy. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. And then after that, you, you gained 30 pounds. Um, I gained after my, yeah, I gained about 30 pounds. How, how you lost that weight? Um, so I just started going to the gym, started working out and eating healthier. Good. And, and did you lose the weight be, before you decided to go uh, with Dr. Duran or it was, it was because you wanted to meet her standards to go with Dr. Duran? No, it was, it was before. Before that. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, how long it took you to lose that weight? Um, about three months. Well, you know what? All my respect, you know, it's very difficult to lose weight, especially after yes. having a child. It gets real, 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 you know, you have your challenges. I, I gained 20 after my pregnancy. It was no joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was no joke at all. Well, and then after that, how did you discover Dr. Duran? Um, so actually, one of my best friends had went to Dr. Uh, Duran a few years ago. Um, so I kind of, I told her I wanted a big butt. <laughs> uh, so I told her, I was like, I really want a big butt. I'm kind of looking into getting um, a Brazilian butt lift. And I never knew she had work done, but she just told me, she's like, actually, I went to uh, Dr. Duran in Dominican Republic a few years ago. Um, so that's how I discovered her. And then I started like looking at her page and looking at her results. And right away, I, I knew that I wanted to go with her. Yeah, um, interesting you say that a few years ago, because, you know, that's, as we all know, Dr. Duran has been being around for some time now, and, and yeah. she has kept it going. Her quality of work is really out there, speaks for itself. And, and you know, whoever sees her page kind of gets stuck in there. They're like, ah, that's what I want. And if you were looking for a bigger butt, I understand why you went yeah. that route. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you have? What procedures do you have? So I had a tummy tuck, lipo, and Brazilian butt lift. Okay. And what was your weight when you went in? Uh, my weight was around, I think it was like 151. Okay. Have you been able to, have you gained any weight after your surgery or have you been able to keep the weight? Um, well, actually, I decided that I do want to go for a round two. So yes. I have put on a few extra pounds since then. Okay. Well, how is, how, I'm going to actually put up a picture of you before. Okay. Before we even show um, some of those results. In the meantime, here we go. That, that was you before the surgery, Dr. Duran. And you said you had a tummy tuck lipo and BBL, correct? Yes. How is your tummy tuck line? Honestly, um, it's not visible like at all. Like it's, the scar is really, really good, so. Good. Well, this was you after the surgery. And as you can see, guys, from the before photo, you're able to see her tattoo right on her right hand because we have a lot of girls that will go, no, that's not the same girl. You know, they go to yeah. the motion. They make up their own life, their own stories, like I mentioned. Um, and you'll be able to see how you have some way, obviously you lost some way in the process and you can see the skin there. But then you can see the, the, the after, which is really a big difference in between. Yeah. Well, tell me, tell me how do you feel before surgery and how you felt after surgery? Um, so before, like, I was just really insecure. I actually, my friends would always mention how like I wore like a lot of like sweaters or like heavier clothes. Um, but now like I feel more confident like going out and taking pictures and stuff. Um, yeah, I just like I'm a lot more happy with my body and she you feel like a sexy, job. like like a sexy mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, a lot of us we have children and then after we have a kid we kind of put things aside because we are so busy with the day to day. Being a mom is a full time job in never end. And right. and maybe you also work or go to school. So everything takes time. Imagine having two and then out of nowhere you, you gain thirty pounds, then you lost thirty pounds, then you wanted a bigger butt, then you go to fly you fly to the how many hours do you flew to the Minister of Public? Oh, okay. So it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty, um, well, it was four hours from, I flew from Detroit to Miami and then it was a four hour layaway and then it was another three hours. <laughs> well, so about seven hours in total. Yeah. Well, it, it, but at least do you feel the other results were worth it? Was it what you were looking for? Yeah, I definitely would recommend uh, traveling to Dominican Republic. I had a really good experience.
If you had to summarize uh, your opinion of Dr. Durham, what would it be? Um, she definitely genuinely cares about, um, she definitely cares about you and you definitely feel that as soon as you go in, like if she doesn't feel like something's not safe or not possible, mm -hmm. um, she'll tell you straight up. I think that's what I liked about her too, is that she's very real and straight up with like what results she can, because you have to be realistic with like the amount of fat you have and stuff like that. So a lot of people do go in there with like unrealistic expectations, but she's very straight up, um, and straightforward with that. So that's what I really liked about her. I always mention how, how important it is for you to be realistic and not to think that you're just going to come and, and be like, hey, this is what I want and you're going to look like that. So realistic expectation is one of the main keys in this industry. Right. There's no question about it. Now, how was your experience with her staff? Um, her staff was like very informative as well. I had a good experience with them as well. Um, yeah. Good. Now, how do you get her quote? Because I know Dr. Duran, um, sometimes the demand is very high, so it's not so easy in order for you to actually get a quote through her. Yeah, um, honestly, it's actually funny because I know a few, a few of my friends who had tried to contact her and they said they had issues. But I had just, um, I messaged her Instagram. And that's when uh, you guys, the consultants, you guys had contacted me right away. So yeah, my friends mentioned that they're like, we tried to get a hold of her and we couldn't. <laughs> who was your coordinator? Uh, Marlene. Said, okay, yeah. Marlene. Yes, yes, she's yes. great. She's been with us for some time now. Yeah, was she it? she definitely helped me a lot with the experience. Um, because obviously, like flying overseas and getting surgery in general is like nerve wracking. So just kind of having someone walk you through the process and give you information and answer your questions like is really good. Especially the language barrier. There's a language barrier in between. Right. So not everyone feels comfortable just going into to the place that they're not aware. Right. Well, now you mentioned you're going for a round two. What are you getting done? Um, I want my butt bigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see how you look now. Are you comfortable getting up and showing us your results? Yep. Actually, okay, I'm going to go in the mirror. Hold on. <laughs> sure. Sorry, my bathroom's kind of messy. <laughs> no, don't worry. This is, this is the whole purpose, that we are all honest and blunt to each other, and we can see things the way they are. Okay, let me turn my camera. I'm going to show you the butt, of course. <laughs> I see. I see the butt. And you want more butt than that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long ago you had surgery? Um, I had surgery December 9th. And um, oh, I'm just a be... few months ago. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be going back next. Like, so December 3rd. The upcoming. Okay. Yeah. For the upcoming, for, for more, for more fat transfer to your butt. Yes. <laughs> Are you doing anything else? Uh, no, that, oh, sorry, actually I am. I'm getting a breast augmentation as well. Okay. Well, uh, I, I have a saying that when you start plastic surgery, you don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to open the lines and to see what the girls wants to know and the guys, so they always have questions. Okay. I want to thank you so much for taking your time and being here with us today. It's important that girls understand and see that there are people just like me, just like you, getting plastic surgery out there. And the truth is, guys, we are here to help as much as we can. Um, you know, it's a process, but before anything, you have to be certain and sure that this is what you want. It, you know, it, plastic surgery recovery is not so simple as it looks. It's a process. You need to have patience. Um, Amber, when do you see your results? When you, when you feel you actually saw some of your results? Honestly, like, right like right away, I definitely noticed results. But for me, um, like once your swelling goes down, and you've been doing the things that your doctor tells you to do. So you're wearing your fajas, and you're getting your massages. And like, what, like, that's when like when it's all said and done, and you look at yourself, like, it's just it's amazing seeing like a completely different body. Uh, like you said, it's definitely a process. And it's a mental like you have to mentally prepare for it. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I definitely seen results right away. But like I said, once you're swelling and everything goes down, you definitely see being being mentally prepared is a key. Yeah, if you are not mentally prepared, you don't know what you're going in for. So you have to go through a whole process in order for you to understand what's going to happen afterwards. Yeah. You know? So let's let's see what we have out here. I'm sure some girls will have some questions for you. And while they come on and ask questions, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. 
in the meantime, how many? Uh, okay, so what did you pack? That's the first question. Okay, so I definitely I packed a lot. I packed a lot of loose clothing. Um, I packed a lot of pads because when you're wearing your fajas, um, just like for comfort. So a lot of like thick pads. Mm -hmm. Um, I brought my vitamins all of my obviously like travel documents and stuff like that um another thing it's kind of i brought um like those bed sheet things that they have in like the hospitals for mm -hmm. like when you get your massages and stuff like that they're like paper i brought those um people tend to a lot of girls tend to overpack um and it's because they're not certain of everything they need they end up having a bunch of stuff left over right. and, and having it there um girls if you're interested or guys Take a look at Plastica Box. They actually have a subset of what you need and not everything in the world. Not everybody wants to carry the stuff. Some people want to carry and purchase the stuff. But when you do the math, bringing all this to the Dominican Republic and having it there when you land is a, makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got the plastic box. And when I go for round two, I'm going to get it as well. Just because obviously, like, I don't, I don't, like, you just don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff that you don't need. You know what I'm saying? So... That's correct. Well, I'm glad you got plastic at the first time. So you're yeah. about to get the second one. That's good to hear. Um, I have a question that says, what was the biggest gotcha? <laughs> the biggest what? <laughs> the gotcha would say cut okay. up or, or expense, I would assume. The biggest expense? Uh, that's what I that's what I'm understanding from Duran Spain. Duran Spain, if you like, please rephrase the question for us and we're gonna move to the next question. We'll come back to you. Let's go to the next question. How was the recovery process? Um she's in for the same procedure. Down beauty one twenty one. Okay, so the recovery process, honestly, um I think the nurses really do a really good job in helping you through that. Um they're amazing, they're by your side the entire time. If you need anything, they're there. So they definitely really help me through that. Um, what recovery house did you stay? Sorry? What recovery house did you stay? Um, it's Better Self. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, obviously, you get surgery. So the first few days, like, you're going to obviously be in pain. Getting out of bed is not going to feel the greatest. And then when you get your massages, obviously, you know, they're... But it's all um, for the best results, right? But, they, you know, you get painful. your massages. Those are pretty painful, too. I'm not going to lie. But, um... <laughs> I had a really good recovery process. Plus, you get to recover in nice warm weather in the Republic, <laughs> so it's nice. <laughs> uh, somebody else asked, who was your doctor? Uh, Dr. Duran. Dr. Eladia Duran, um, which I see that, uh, no, she's not a Duran one. Um, they say you look amazing. Somebody answered Dr. Duran. Um, someone wants to know who will be your doctor for round two. I don't know if that question comes into play right here, but feel free to message her in private, perhaps, um, unless you feel comfortable talking about it. Um, and then we have another question that says, T -t -t oh, there she is. So the Ryan Spain again, what was the biggest, um, something unexpected, something unexpected that, that happened to you that you did not expe um, expect? Thank you for rephrasing that, the Ryan Spain. Okay, um, let me think. Definitely. Hmm. Can we get back to this one? <laughs> sure. I, I will tell you what was unexpected for me. Um, in my round one, because it was my first time, I did not expect to throw up so much. I actually throw up um, right after the anesthesia. I, will, I woke up and I was like, what the hell just happened? So I had a big difference between round one and round two. Because in my round one, everything was like a straightforward. I got up, you know, somebody helped me get up. You obviously, you were dizzy, you were in pain. Um, but in my round two, they actually made me, they, they threw water at me before I actually left the, the, the hospital, the room. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was such a big difference between doctor and doctor and between clinic that I was like, okay, what just happened here? Um, so yeah, the, for me, uh, that was for me one of my biggest ones. But for my round two, throwing up was not a surprise because I already knew I was going to throw up and I already knew that I was going to go through the, through the motion of, of being sick because I'm not, I'm not so good uh, uh, with the anesthesia. However, I'm good with taking the pain. So the pain was kind of, the pain was something that now a lot of girls had with the pain pump, which I had an interview the other day with that and that kind of yeah. was. Let's see what else we have. Uh, what was the recovery time for you? 
So basically, like, obviously, like, everybody's different. Um, for me, I would say, well, my first few days, like I said, I, like, I was in the most pain. But honestly, I feel like out of all the girls that I was in the recovery house, I was definitely like one of like, I had one of the best recoveries. But um, like, I was walking quite a bit. I was walking like every day. Um, if I couldn't sleep in the middle of the night, because obviously, like, you're uncomfortable, you're swollen, you have the tight faha on. So it can be really uncomfortable sleeping. So I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would just like walk back and forth. Um, so yeah, basi basically, um, um, you're recovering for like up to six months usually. You, that's what, you know, you still have to get your massages and stuff. But um, obviously like day by day it gets better. So I agree. Day by day it gets, it gets better. Did you wake up during surgery? A lot of girls always ask that question. I don't know why you're so concerned, girls. If you're going to wake up, you're not going to feel pain. Most of you girls are like, well, I'm going to be in pain because I woke up. You won't feel a thing. Did no, you wake up during surgery? I didn't wake up. <laughs> uh, and the other question is, how many days did you stay in DR after your surgery? Okay, um, so I was in DR for 12 days after surgery. Okay. Keep in mind, ladies, that if you are going to be going now to the Dominican Republic, you must take a negative test of COVID. And on top of that, you have to consider staying in the country a little bit longer. The fact is that you have to do another test when you get to the Dominican Republic and make sure that everything is okay with you. So some girls might repeat their exams one and two times, so please keep that in mind. Don't, do not go with limited time. Do not go with 12 days straight, with 14 days straight, without you knowing what could happen. Because it's a plastic surgeon, anything, anything could really happen in the process. Um, any, uh, you are very welcome around those things. I feel like I know you already after I mentioned your name so many times. Um, how many weight uh, do you have gained for the new BBL? How many, how many pounds have you gained for you to get your new BBL that you're looking to get? Um, so I'm up like 10 pounds right now. <laughs> And you said you haven't started you in December, right? Yes. And you plan to gain any more weight or you're going to keep it at those 10 pounds? Um, I'm probably going to gain a little bit more. Nothing like too dr uh, drastic. Yeah, don't go too much either because they'll be able to find fat even that, you know, that's not the case. Any three new tips for a new for a new BL there? Sorry, can you repeat that? Any three tips that you can provide to so somebody that's just starting plastic surgery? Yeah, follow us and you'll be able to see any questions you have. Just ask us and we'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> okay so uh yeah um i would just say definitely like ask as much uh, as many questions as you can um the consultants are here to help and just utilize that right um you want to definitely mentally prepare um like for me i watched a lot of like youtube videos and stuff like that i asked a lot of questions as to what to bring um and honestly, like, if it's something that you really want to do, like, go for it. You know, like, I have no regrets. I'm extremely ha happy with my results. So it's good to hear that, you know, that many women feel they, they, they talk about it, they think about it, but they don't really come back out here and let us know that they can also look good and feel good because it's not yeah. about feeling good. It's not just about looking good, right? Uh, and we're going to take the last question right here, which is how many... Mm, do you have to book your trip in advance and get I, I would assume you're asking how far ahead can you book your trip um if that's the question marie jasmine it might be the question um you can book your, your trip already for next year really some doctors have their calendar open but not everybody has it open but you could already start booking and we can actually feel free to send us a link um, through our link in our website or through our instagram let us know which doctor you're interested in. We get you your call. We're more than happy to help you. And then for last, I would like to thank you personally. And I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight. It's, it's always good to see girls like you, like me, sharing their experience. Thank and you so much. And I will be seeing you in December, you said. So I have yes. to see how that breast augmentation and that video is going to look like. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And have a great evening. Okay. You too. Bye-bye.